Seriously, you're okay with videos that sound like this? No. No. Look, it happens to everyone. One day you're making videos and you come to the realization that they sound like crap. Beginning of the universe. What kind of camera should I get? Roll that bump up. What you need to do is buy more stuff. Ha! He who buy tunnel stuff and not no fundamentals will beat head with hammer. If you don't know the fundamentals of sound for video and film, you'll never, ever, forever, ever, never get there. Well, I'm happy to say I got you covered. True story. It was a dark and stormy night. For months, I was working on a course to lay out all the fundamentals of sound and audio. Honey, are you coming to bed? And then the light bulb went off. I needed someone who has decades of hands-on experience with audio and sound. I need someone who knows how to educate and train others simply. I need someone who has experience creating courses, ones I've taken, ones that give a result, and someone I trust to do it right. I need Curtis Judd. Hey, Curtis, so here's the deal. I need a course about production sound, fundamentals for video or film, and I need it now. You might Don't you talk back to me. I'll come over there and kick your Okay, that last part isn't really how it went. To my surprise, he agreed. Ah, huh, that was pretty easy. I got him to agree. Yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Bam, 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 boom, bam. I can tell you all about it, but I'll let Curtis give you the details. Today, I'm very excited to announce our new sound production fundamentals class. This is all about learning how to record sound with a special emphasis on dialogue sound for short film and video. And not only is this online courses or online videos, but we also have weekly online help sessions. So if you ever get stuck with any questions and you can't seem to work your way past it, we can get online, we can discuss it and help you keep moving forward. Now, who is this course for? This is for people that want to learn how to improve the quality of their sound for short film and video. And it's for those who may not know anything about audio at all just yet, to those that know a little bit and just wanna really kind of take their sound to the next level. First, we'll start by talking about what sound is and how it works. And with that solid foundation, you'll be able to solve a lot of problems. Then beyond that, of course, we're going to talk about the gear you need and the techniques you need to use that gear to record the best sound possible. Now, if you are just looking for a magical answer to the magical question, what piece of gear do I need to buy to make my sound awesome? And you don't really have any interest in investing in yourself and learning and your own skills, this course is not for you. <laughs> this course is for those that really want to invest in themselves to learn the skills necessary to really produce great sound. And really, when it comes to it, producing great sound, recording great sound, is 90% skill and 10% gear. So if that's your mindset, this may be the right course for you. There are also some other things to think about. My experience is that audiences will forgive you for mediocre visuals if the sound is great. Sound is so immersive and it tells stories so effectively and it's so important. If you have a film where the sound is mediocre, the visuals are awesome, your audience is gonna notice right away and it's gonna become a problem and you're not gonna be able to tell stories as effectively. Now this course is available to anyone that has a device that's connected to the internet, it's that simple. Likewise with the weekly help sessions, those will also be held online, so all you need is an internet connection. This course is available now. All you have to do is sign up if it sounds right for you. Again, if you're interested in improving your skills, also, we'll be adding content over time. So it's a one-time payment, and as content is added, you can access that as well. And finally, just to make sure that we're on the same page here, this course is about the skills and the fundamentals of recording great sound. It doesn't go into great detail about post-processing. So all the editing and post-processing things will be covered in a future separate course, but this one is all about capturing great sound. So I'm excited to have you sign up if you feel like it's the right thing for you. We'll talk to you again soon. Next, I had to talk Curtis into offering it to my viewers at a discount. Wait, no, you will give them a 25% discount. Otherwise, I'm gonna come over there and... Okay, the last part wasn't how it went either. Curtis agreed to a 25% discount to my viewers and students over at the university, which is pretty cool. But the deal is after two weeks from now, it's gone.
Wise men say, he who snooze, lose, and beat head with hammer. If you want to level up your video and film projects, you get the best bang for your buck by going after the sound. I'm really, really happy to be able to offer this new course to you. Links are in the description below. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And that helps to manage some of the reverb, but what else can you do? First, let's talk about reverb. What? You thought there was more? I'm busy watching the course again. There's so much good stuff in here. Reverb is sound reflecting off of surfaces and bouncing around the room. You don't need to go overboard and put thousands of dollars of acoustical absorbing material. You're still here? Now here's an example of the types of scenarios you might encounter. <laughs> this is a room. It's actually a kitchen, dining, kind of uh, great room kind of setup in a home with hardwood floors and lots of hard surfaces. I'm sitting my back right against the kitchen counter here. So again, lots of hard surfaces. And this is where the sound waves will hit those hard surfaces and reflect back and you'll get the echo or reverb. So this is what it sounds like. And let's take a listen to what it sounds like once we put some blankets up to manage some of that reflection. And here's what it sounds like once we put some blankets down. We've got one hung behind the camera on a couple of C-stands. Again, if you don't have C-stands, don't worry about it. You can use other things, get creative. You can use a couple of ladders with a broom pole. You could use a couple of ladders with a a uh, piece of metal electrical conduit, which you can get at a hardware store. I use this little spring clamps you can get at a hardware store for about 99 cents. And then I've got one on the floor just down below me here. That's actually a pretty critical one if you're trying to tame some <laughs> hard floors. The reason that's critical is I've got the mic right here. So if you can prevent the reflections here, that's really good. And then I've got another one in the kitchen behind me. So that's an example of how you can manage some of the reverb that you may get in a variety of different recording situations.